So Kevin Roberts, one of our newest partners here at the Barbarian Hour, Jared, he is selling Resolite mats. He's uh, gunning to be their top salesman of the year for Resolite out of Pennsylvania. And uh, he's out of the Pacific Northwest, out North Idaho, uh, Eastern Washington. And he seems to be gaining momentum, and we've been working with him a lot. Uh, I'll be out there for camps later on at his new facility, the Dungeon. You've been working with him for years, right? Yeah, I've been working for, for Kevin for years. And then that was how Ian ended up at Oregon State is with uh, Coach Kevin Roberts. So you can check out Coach Roberts at robertswrestling.com. Let's, yeah. let's talk about our, our boy Josh. I got some fresh threads today. Oh, yeah, yeah I got the – I'm rocking the, the podcast. So so we're doing some stuff with uh, – he's sending us some podcast shirts. You're going to be able to buy them on the – barbarianapparel.com shop actually that that's coming up he, he said he was going to start putting some of those on there right jared right yeah right barbarianapparel.com um uh, you know i talked to him earlier this week and you know people are buying their gear for next year right it's it's june but you know you, you get a jump on buying your gear right now he has a single special on barbarianapparel.com slash ba hour right you don't want to wait till the fall to order your gear and then it comes in late and you don't have it and you know, order it now, use the, use the link, get it, get a special, get a deal, right. He'll design it. If you have a, something in mind, send him, send him what you think he'll design it up and, and let him go with it. Right. I, I, I sent him, Hey, ice house wrestling. He did this up at this today. Little, little, uh, wrestling room we have here in town. And, um, see that BA on the, uh, very subtle BA on the, right, right, right on the I like your, uh, your podcast stickers is that a magnet on the fridge behind you. Right, right here. Barbarian Hour oh, podcast. It's the magnet. I have it's one on magnet. my smoker I like too. I have the nice. Ohio and that on my smoker outside. You're both rock and defense too. I like that. We both got. I got. I got the bar. You got the pep. You got peppermint wipes and body wash. You're not playing. Uh, the wipes are original. I'm a pep guy, but the pep body wash. Yeah. So let's get Eric, let's get Eric Burnett on here. Let's go. iPhone Eric with a K. I love it. <laughs> Just one word. All one, all one word. iPhone Eric with a K. Hey, Hope we can get him audio. What's up, dude? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. Sir. You hey, gonna join what, with, with your picture? I don't know. I gotta find it. Yeah, I'll ask to start video. That might help. There, there it is. Hey, there. Can you turn I your camera you. real quick? There we go. There we go, Coach Burnett. That's a beautiful blue sky you're out there in Milan, Ohio, huh? Getting the job done. The rain's gone away, huh? Uh, yeah, it was a, a major storm. out The Norwalk Hall Walmart got struck by lightning out here, man. It was closed. I had to make a run for some supplies, and I get there, and one of the, this poor kid's sitting outside with a Walmart vest on. There's no cars in the parking lot. I come strolling up, and he's like, oh, dude, we got struck by lightning. We're closed. I was like, oh, what? the conservation league, a guy at the conservation league down the road got struck also this afternoon. Do you remember a year really? ago, almost a year ago today was that storm that came through. That was nuts. That took off the downtown. It was almost oh, that's right where the, where the theater collapsed in downtown. The Sandusky. Wife's car was right next to it. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. It was the 10th of June. So what's up, Eric? Welcome to the barbarian hour. Yeah. Sorry. I was late. You're no. You're good, man. We started our session. We got Danny Mitchiffs in there right now showing a bunch of cool stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Big stuff yeah. coming this weekend at the, the dog house out there in Milan on Weichel Road, Coach Burnett. We've got Dave Habit, one of your former club wrestlers, a national team member for Slovenia. And he will be out there doing OAC combine. We're going to be putting a team Ohio combine together this weekend at the barn in Milan. Dave habit. Give us some words on Dave habit and what he means as a club guy. And one of your Burnett trained guys. Oh, he's just an all around good person, man. I mean, obviously he's a very good wrestler and he has been for a while, but I mean, we, we just had so much fun. Um, when he was, a, when he was a kid and he first started coming out, out to us, that was, back in the LaGrange days, you know, the barn back, back there. And um, came in and, you know, all of them, you know, I mean, had was good when they were little. He was, you know, not, you know, 
no crazy negative ego, just, you know, just like he is right now. That's how he was back then. He was fun to coach. He was always asking questions, you know, but just, but just a really, really good person, man. You know, um, kind of walking through here, we used to have some pictures on the wall. I don't know if they're still up there cause they were, they were doing a bunch of work out here, but he's in some of our pictures from Fargo and we had all the, we had the whole gang together, you know, um, yeah, they're not on the wall now, but you're doing some oh, well. remodeling out there, right? Yeah, Ar Artie and Amy had some people come in a couple of years ago, um, and uh, they were starting to do some really. I, I, I think they were kind of renovating a lot of the building, and then um, co you know, COVID happened, and um, you know, it's just, it just kind of is what it is. I mean, and you guys, you know, Artie and Amy Wolf, right? I mean, mm -hmm. they're just they're just amazing. You know, it's like every time I leave. If I leave for like a week or two, I come back and this is, this is here. Look at this. This wasn't here like two weeks ago. You see that? Oh, sidewalk. You guys got a yeah. sidewalk. Yeah. It's a sidewalk. Yeah. Right. It's, it's right a sidewalk out of nowhere. Yeah. There's all of a sudden a sidewalk here. Right. I love it. Yeah. They're just, they're just amazing. You know, new wall, new mats, uh, what two summers ago, brand new mats. They put a whole new heating and an air conditioning system in the building um expanded the wrestling room the wrestling room's almost twice the size now right the wrestling room's a good size but we also think that the football turf behind them the room already had a bunch of other mats he said we could use so now when we have like in the evenings a lot of time we have a lot of our club kids come in during the camp sessions so you can just have an overflow so kids can wrestle out in that room as well so but that's all Hardy and amy man they're just <laughs> they're amazing to us you know um so, so anyhow, back to, back to David, man. Yeah. He, uh, no, nothing surprises me as far as his success, you know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm not surprised with how humble he is as a person. He's just amazing. And I, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get a lot of kids around him this week again. Cause he's just, he's just dynamite. We were, uh, we had that tournament at Cedar point this past week and he was there with, uh, help coaching some guys and, he was trying to pick up trash and roll up mats. I'm like, Dave, go coach. You don't got to pick up trash yeah. and roll mats. Yeah. He, he's right? a, that type of guy. That's how he is. Exactly. Yep. So, yeah, that was good, man. I, I didn't make it over there because we had our training camp for the juniors. Right. Um, right. For the dual team. But I heard my, my wife and kid, with my wife and Nate were there, and they said it was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was a neat at Over, with over the, at the Cedar uh, Point dual. Yeah, Zeb, Zeb covered it. There's a lot of video up there. The college, the university division was awesome. You know, Clint jumped on that. But hey, I got a quick question. Yeah. What year? What year are these from? The Brutes. Look at the yeah. Dude, Is that your freshman year. Are, yeah, 1984. <laughs> we had uh, a yeah. brother out. We were talking about Super O. Super O. Super oh the guy with the big zero on his chest. Yeah, as it turned out, it was more like my grade point average. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we're trying to I'm still uh working on that project though. That, that's pretty cool having those shoes, got some other gear we're gonna put on display uh you know over the Cavelli Center at the state tournament, you know, these little guys seeing that that throwback gear is pretty cool. So, so thanks for, for loaning those over to me. Uh, oh, no, Eric, absolutely. I got one last thing that before, cause we're going to keep you short here. I know you got to practice. Uh, what are the camp situations for Burnett trained wrestling? Where are we going to see those? Are they going to be the same location as you're at right now where Dave Habit will be on Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. We got, it, it, yeah, things are looking good. We got another one of the 20th through the 24th. And then we got another one, the 27th through the 30th in June, in June. And then in July, at the end of July, we do this little kid camp. Um, it's basically junior high and, and youth, but, um, we cram a whole bunch of wrestling in, and we get done by like four o'clock and then we take the kids fishing and swimming and they watch movies and they stay overnight. And it's, it's just a pretty fun camp for the kids. So that's when we get back from Fargo. Um, so yeah, but yeah, that's that kind of what we're doing. So it'll be the same place where Dave's going to be, um, this weekend just three weeks eric i just heard you say three weeks are there, are there more than three weeks or you said the 20th through the 24th of june 
27th through the 30th of June. And then the end of July, is there another date in there that I missed? 20th through the 24th, 27th through the 30th. And then there's another one in July. So there's three full weeks in June as far as including this week. The current oh, so camp. You do have one this week. Yeah, we're at camp right now. Okay, you're at camp right now. Mm -hmm. Got it. So it ends. When does it end? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday we finish up. Got it. So you guys are in the middle of camp right now. I'm, I'm still at school doing work days. Yeah, well, it's I'm, I'm here in the evenings right now. The, the other guys are running it. We're, we're in school until the 14th. Oh, wow. who, who do you, so they can go to Burnett Train Wrestling, but who, who do you have help? Uh, you said Danny, right? Who, who yeah, Danny, last? Scotty, Tadaki Hada. Nice. Um, uh, Ned Shock from West Point was here oh, today. Nice. Nice. Shock. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool um, to, have, to have him in. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, it just kind of is what it is. We don't start school until after Labor Day. So, you know, we just we go a little bit later. Coach, we but, have Coach Ayers coming on right now in a little bit here. I just got mm -hmm. a couple quick questions for you, and then we'll let you go here because I know you got session, and it ends at 9 tonight. Is it still end at 9? Yeah. Okay. So the question is, you know, you talk about you were a, a, a non-qualifier in today's terms, but a Prop 48 in the day, your terms, were a person who could not wrestle as a freshman. Yeah. You have a guy at West Point right now. You have a guy at Cornell right now. You have a guy at Princeton right now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. A guy heading off to Indiana. You got a guy going to Kent State. But you, but just those – I just named three of the most elite academic institutions in the world. And the guy with the, the big zero, his GPA on his chest, how do you get guys on your team? How, how do you get so many guys – who go to the Ivy Leagues or go to the academies. How do you do that, Coach Burnett? I, I think a lot of kids are, are good listeners. Um, you know, and I, I joke around, I joke around about my zero on my chest and stuff like that, you know, and be, because I ended up okay, right? You know, in the end, some people don't, right? Um, and people gave me chances. Clarion gave me a huge opportunity. And, um, you know, I, I did my best a, a couple times to probably, you know, try to screw that up. But I had coaches there that believed in me and, 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 uh, you know, gave me some more chances to do what I needed to do. And, um, you know, and I guess, I guess you could say I finally got it. Um, you know, so I, I try to encourage these guys, you know, that, um, when they're in high school that, uh, you know, those, those years are fleeting and, you know, you, 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 by the time you get in your senior year, my grades actually improved my senior year, but it wasn't enough. Um, you know, I had two bad years, really. My freshman year wasn't even that bad, but I just was a complete clown in school my sophomore and junior year. And uh, so I try to emphasize the importance of, of what you're supposed to do. Now, you know, was I tutoring Josh Breeding when he was in high school? Did I have him over to my house so I could help him with molecular, uh, uh, physiological, uh, uh, flex capacitator? No, I didn't help him with, with any of that, you know. <laughs> uh. And his, coach is, his coach is coming on next. So you got to clearly you have a really good relationship with his coach and your son's at Pitt and the other kids going to Clarion. So you're doing something right. Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, you got it, you know, they have to want it. Right. And, and, and it, it, good culture, you know, their families are pushing in the right direction and, you know, and, and Mick, you know, Mick, that's his mother. I mean, you know me, it's like, you know, once you get past uh, adding and subtracting, I'm not much of a help, um, you know, if I can, anything you need to crayon to, to, to work on, I can help him with that. But, you know, that's, that's basically J bones uh, deal right there. So, but no, they, they just, you know, they, they, they were smart to begin with, you know, most of these kids were pretty smart and uh, they applied themselves, um, which, you know, that's why they're where they're at. So we recently had your brother on and he shared his favorite Miller story. Do you have a favorite <laughs> quick Miller story? Well, for, I don't know if any Miller stories are quick, to be honest with you. Um, uh, yeah, there's, there's a couple of them, man. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I used to spend, um, I used to spend part of my spring break at Oak Harbor with, with the Millers. And I would actually go to school with them um, at least one day. I would go to school with Ferdy. And um, we, we would ride around in this, uh, in this flatbed truck. And um, I don't know whose flatbed that was, uh, but was that was that T Bones or yeah, my dad's? That was Tom's. Okay. Yeah, and all I wanted to do when I came to Oak Harbor was drive that flatbed, and uh, 
Fer, Ferber let me drive it, and uh, we, we ended up at uh, what's that corners? What's that place? Strawberry corners. Blackberry right? corners. Blackberry corners. <laughs> Blackberry corners. And uh, yeah, we hung out there, and we just did some running around. It was me and Ferdy and Nick Cianciola, and oh, wow. I, you know, it just was. It, it was it was an unbelievable time. You know what I mean? We went to a tournament at Delta one time, and we all wore tennis shoes. Um, and back then, like there was no internet, so a lot of people, if they hadn't seen you wrestle, they didn't know who you were. So um, we just wore tennis shoes and went to this tournament, and uh, <laughs> we ended up beating a bunch of guys, and they were surprised that these uh, t- tennis shoe guys were were beating them. Uh, it was so, team yeah, GNU, team GNU. Yeah, remember the, the Green Goose Rocks. The Green Goose Rocks. Yeah, yeah. We had the, uh, yeah. Remember when Ferdy ripped off the, uh, Ferdy ripped off my uh, hood ornament from the Green Goose on the the Delta, the Delta eighty eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. That happened in your that happened in your driveway. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I almost ran over Mark Marinelli that night. I think I'm not sure. <laughs> Super <old. laughs> They gave you the name. Super. They gave you the name. <laughs> that was. That, I never knew about that. How, funny is that it's really and, uh, funny you it's know really mark funny. and i are cool man i thought i see mark all over we talk but i got to know mark through fur right because they yeah. were all at ohio state and um and t-bone had that big bonfire and all the ohio state guys came up for that and um man we just had so much fun um I, it was so the, the memories are crazy man I, you know i'm kind of giving you the g-rated ones um there's some other ones that happened at wrestling camp that I don't you imagine know. If, if could you imagine if little Zeb had a video camera back then, right? Oh, 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 oh dude, we'd all have very, very checkered past records. <laughs> easily Google be rich, any of right? our. Uh, I'd be a gazillionaire probably, and everybody, I'd be <laughs> murdered or a gazillionaire. All the, I love the Milkovich camp ones. My brother Chad would hide, and they would send Eric to find him. <laughs> what? During the Eric camp? was like the he was like the star pupil of the Milkoviches. I think the old man would send you in, or I don't know who, who would send you in, whether it was Tom or Mike or Dan, even Jamie, or not Jamie. Uh, what's the other one? The, uh, what's the youngest one? Oh, Pat. <laughs> yeah, the greatest Milkovich ever, Pat Milkovich, right? Yeah, you didn't want to. Yeah, Pat was really good, but when he got angry, that was when we did all the snap downs out in the field. Like, he got us up really early in the morning, and a bunch of guys had been screwing off bad the night before. And, and Pat, because everybody stayed in the dorms, right? I mean, all the coaches stayed. Ernst Housen East was the dorm we always stayed in. BW? Yeah. 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 And uh, so, yeah, one night everybody was screwing off. And the next morning they come around banging on the doors. And Pat's got us doing a, a bunch of calisthenics, probably about six in the morning over on one of the fields. Um, and, uh, yeah, we ended up doing a gajillion snap downs on each other in, in the grass. <laughs> In the dark, <laughs> dude. I made this guy's bear crawl in the orchard. At uh, I know you did. At the bear, I made Logan Stever looked up at me and he goes, "Are you serious?" I go, "As a heart attack." And it yeah. was all gooey. Remember their shoes were getting all grassy because the dude, the one dude from Illyria, almost got hit by a car. And then I was like, "That's it. We can't go on the road anymore." You remember that? That was that yeah. was Kenny. We, we couldn't we couldn't run. <laughs> we couldn't go on the road anymore. And then um, Ian told the road race story about how he went too early against you he, you he said he had you this 10 year old kid had me dead to rights man dead to rights i mean he's got to be 200 yards ahead of me Jedi and I, I ended up catching him you know what i mean and ian was pissed um but that that's kind of when i knew like what a freak he was he might have been was he 10 zeb he yeah, he's been like a 10 i trained him all summer to beat you though he just has a, had a different gear always had a different gear right yeah he yeah gears yeah yeah, absolutely. But he had bad luck at our camp. Remember, oh, he had like a concussion and he had a broken, broken. arm. And- yeah. Eye socket, pink eye. Uh, can't right. be sorry. Hit him with a hot soldering iron and the eyeball. I don't know. They always made up something. <laughs> right. I felt bad. Ferd would drive all the way out here from Oak Harbor and have to take him to our hospital. Scream at me, yelling at me. What'd you do to him? <laughs> I didn't do anything. What are you talking like, like I'm the one like beating him up and stuff. Like, what are you Yeah, doing? right, Man. right. He's coming out next week. Did you know that, Ian? I did not I mean, know that. It's good to know. I'm sorry. The tw- he's coming in the 21st, that Monday. Well, I'll be there probably. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Coach Burnett, uh, we have Coach Ayers coming on here. Thank you for the time. Uh, I will be out next week pro- or two weeks to hang out with you guys. Uh, 
I'll see you Sunday. Okay. Awesome. Thanks guys. Thanks for what you're doing, man. This is, um, this is awesome. Thanks, we'll get Eric. you on the long form. We'll get you on the long form. We're not we'll letting get, you off the hook. Get trust you a full me. one in the, the hour and a half, the overtime. Is that, is that yeah, we'll, right? we'll do it. That'll be fun, man. Lots of stories, lots of stuff to talk about, man. All right. Just, we're just warming up. Just getting awesome. You coach. Up. Have a great night. Thank you for the time. Thanks. Right on. Thanks you guys. Have a good one. Awesome.